Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to do a quick review on Dr. Kirk's Micro Magic. It's a polishing wax. The reason I decided to do this video is because I read about this stuff online and I'm kind of a, a skeptic naturally I think and anytime you can eliminate all these steps with something I'm a little skeptical of that because it seems like you need to put in the work to get the, the end result. But I thought for $12.95 for the set of three I'd give it a try and I'm going to do it here for the first time with you and then share my results. Now with the three jars came this instruction sheet and I'm going to go ahead and read this to you so that we all know the, the steps and follow the, uh, the process. Micro Magic Polishing System. With our new Micro Magic Polishing System, you can remove seven steps of your finishing process and have an even, even better surface with only three steps. Now that's where I'm a skeptic. So I'm taking away all these steps, but I'm going to have a better finish with less work. I hope it works. <clears throat> Preparation. Have your blanks sanded to 600 grit or higher. Too much sanding can build up heat and oftentimes damage and ruin the blank. Use a clean paper towel to remove the sanding dust. Okay. Then, this is where we get into the polishing, polishing wax. Step one, use a paper towel and apply a small amount of Micro Magic Step 1, the red jar, to the blank. Once the blank is polished, use a clean paper towel to buff off the blank. Easy enough. Step 2. Same thing, use Micro Magic Step 2, the white jar, to polish the blank. Use a clean paper towel to buff the blank. And lastly, Step 3, apply a small amount of Micro Magic Step 3, the blue jar, to your paper towel and buff to your final finish. And it is that easy. It even says so, it's that easy. Micro Magic has a UV inhibitor, so you can use it on your final, as your final finish on your stabilized pens and projects to protect against oxidation. Micro Magic, here's the sentence. Micro Magic also produces a similar result on CA finishes too. So actually that could be a benefit if it really works because a lot of times even if I have a whole bunch of layers of CA I'll sand through them because I'm just trying to get it so perfect. So if this really works it might prevent some of that. So I'm going to go ahead and sand my blank to 600 and what I'm going to use, I've got this uh, American flag bolt action pen blank and I thought it'd be a good one because it has multiple colors so we can see if there's scratches or different things but I'm gonna go ahead and sand this to 600 and I'll get it put it in the lathe and when I come back uh, we'll start with step one okay I've got the blank here it's sanded to 600 and I can definitely see the scratch lines uh, all the way around so I'm, I'm gonna see how this stuff works go ahead and remove all the dust and actually it looks even better just without the dust. Okay, so that one's done. And I'm gonna go for step one and following the exact instructions, a small dab. And I, uh, I read it doesn't take a lot, so basically I don't even know if you can see that, but I'm just getting a smear on there of number one. I'm gonna go ahead and slow this down. Feels pretty good. Smooth. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a small, a little bit more, not knowing how much I'm supposed to use, but I really have hardly used anything. And I gotta tell you, I can actually already see the sheen uh, on the blank building as it would when you're micro meshing and you start getting into the better grits. So, give us just another second here. Like I said, I've never used this stuff, but I had to give it a try. So this is the clean end of the paper towel. Of the uh, paper towel. Give it a quick wipe here. You know, it actually looks better already. Most of those scratches I could see before are already gone. So, we're gonna move on to step two. That's the white jar. 
Turn the lathe back on here. Little dab. This stuff is, is pretty hard, so it actually doesn't goop onto your paper towel, which is kind of nice. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it on here. Hopefully you can still see it. Make sure you get the ends. And that first step, I mean, I only spent a few seconds on it, and it really looked good. And there again, it looks pretty good. I can actually see the wax on this step. Uh, maybe I got a little more, maybe that's just this step. I can see the wax, but with the clean end here, Seems to wipe right off. That actually looks really good. Okay. And I mean, the, the amount of time I've spent here is not much, so uh, on to step three, the blue. Get a little on here. And this one seems to be the hardest, so I just got a little smidge on there. And when you put it on, it kind of feels waxy. I mean, obviously it is a wax, but I can kind of feel it going on the, the blank like a wax. Set up this here. Rubbing it in here. I haven't got any heat build up with this. By having my finger on here, I can tell if it's getting hot or not, and it has not. And I can definitely see the wax, feel the wax on there. So I think I've got it all worked in here. So I'm gonna use the clean side here. And it has a real good shine going. I mean, obviously it's still spinning, but it, it does have a good shine. So, I don't know how long that took, but it sure didn't take very long. Yeah, a little bit of wax on the ends here. But it actually looks really good. With my, uh, Naked eye here, I don't see any scratches. Now I'm sure if I put it under the magnifier I would. But it looks really good. Has a nice shine to it. It's uh you know obviously I'm not convinced hundred percent because I need to use it a little more, but for for the first run it's pretty good and it's actually way better than I thought it would work. Well, thanks for watching. I think uh, for a first run, it worked pretty well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, also, check out the links below to find some great pen suppliers like Exotic Blanks, or if you want some of my custom products, they're also listed there. Thanks, have a great day.